What is up, friends? Are you a reservation holder of the Ford F-150 Lightning and you've been starting to ask yourself, am I ever going to get this thing? Maybe you're starting to see these markups and you're getting worried, like, is is my dealer going to do this? Maybe you uh, have had your reservation for a while, but you don't know where you are in line. You're worried that when it comes to 2023 ordering, will you even get to order? Well, what I'm doing today is gathering all of the kind of work we've been kind of stockpiling information here for the last, oh, who knows, year. And we're going to do the most updated version of what to do if you're a reservation holder. And we're going to go through a couple different scenarios here. Uh, so wherever you are, uh, whether a rural uh, dealer or you're in the city versus even being someone who ordered the first day versus someone who is really late to the party, maybe even you're you're the 200,000th person in line. We're going to cover all of that today um, and just kind of give you a, a little bit of a peace of mind and maybe some strategies to either uh, move up in line or just to know if you're going to get a, uh, I guess, official order, we'll call it. So let's dive in. Hi, guys. I'm cutting in before I get into the juice of this video just to say, would you please subscribe to my channel? I'd love to have you here. I don't usually do this. However, we've dipped back into uh, 85% of my viewers not being subscribed to the channel. So uh, if you guys are a regular viewer, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. That helps me be able to do more things like getting people to uh, send more products to review. That is a huge metric that people look at. So it really helps me out. Usually I wouldn't care about that stuff, but I want to be able to do more things for you guys. So if you could do uh, me a favor and subscribe to the channel, I really would appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let's get back in this video. So the number one question I've been getting asked in my emails and comment section is, hey, I ordered on this date, where do I stand in line? And while it's a pretty solid question and I totally understand, I just kind of want to debunk the, I guess, myth that your reservation date has any, or your number really has as much to do with your order as it does more your dealership. So just to kind of reiterate how that works is you are sorted in, like you're correct, that you are sorted in the order that you made your reservation. However, those segments of orders only go from dealership to dealership. So if I ordered today, but my dealership only has two people, well, I'd be second in line at my dealership. Whereas if you ordered the first day, but so did 50 other people at your dealership, you could be 50th in line. And I would get mine a lot sooner than yours. Hopefully that makes sense. It's more where you are in line at your specific dealership. So a lot of you I've had this conversation with and you come back to me, my dealer won't tell me where I am in line. Maybe it's time to start looking at new dealers. Uh, some of them might just not actually know. However, at least someone at their dealership does know because when Ford first opened the order books for the 2022 ordering year, they allowed the dealers to uh, make it official, make that list official, and maybe even rearrange some people on that list. However, as far as we know, since that date, those lists have been locked in. So, Moving into this 2023 year, the same order that they were given for the 2022 ordering will remain. And it seems like it won't change. They won't be able to reorder again. Um, you know, maybe they will when we get closer to 2023. But as it stands now, that same list that they set in stone should still be there. So maybe call your, if not your dealer, maybe see if you could talk to his manager because they do know where you are in the list. It's more of a matter of if the person you're talking to knows or if they're just for whatever reason withholding that information. So the information is out there. And now that kind of bridges right into this next part of uh, should you stick with your dealer? And that goes hand in hand with should you stay at a big dealer or a small dealer? Now, it's very tricky, and um, let's say you're right in the middle, right? You Let's say maybe uh, June you ordered, so you're kind of in the middle of the list, and the thing is, if you are, let's say the small dealership has 20 orders, and maybe you're 10th, 
uh, that's not bad. But at the big dealership, they have 100 orders and you're 50th. So on one hand, you see, well, maybe I should stay at the small, but their allocations might be a lot less than the big dealership. So now if you're in the top 10, though, I would guess you're pretty safe to get a Lightning for the 2023 year. However, even if you're 50th or so at that big dealership, there's also a good chance you'll still get an order because they will get a lot more of the allotments than the small will get. Um, and that just goes by, at least uh, this isn't very clear. However, with other models like the Bronco or the Maki, allotments have been given out due to uh, size. So if it's a bigger dealership, they will get more vehicles obeying Ford's rules. So not marking things up, um, and just being a good, uh, dealer Ford re rewards them with more allotment. Um, uh, being in a very competitive area, if there's a lot of other, uh, dealers, dealerships in that area, they will get a lot more. So that, and a couple other things that are, are not technically like black and white, will allow them to get more of an allotment. Whereas the smaller dealership, it's kind of a shot in the dark. I mean, you you really just don't know unless you kind of look and see on their lot, oh, wow, it looks like they have a bunch of Broncos. That's kind of what I go by. Like, that's the other super popular car. If Ford's giving them a lot of uh, a super popular car, then they're probably in good standing and they're likely to get more Lightnings too. I mean, again, that's kind of a guess, but hopefully it makes sense. Uh, now that we talked about if you should, let's talk about how to change dealer. So the way I understand this is up until you officially make an order, you can move. So all of us can move right now. None of us have an order. Uh, I, I mean, maybe for whatever reason, if you're like, I'm, I'm almost confident all orders for 2022 are closed out. Uh, none of us have orders right now and we are free to move around so you can you could call around and see um it, it'll you can call around and see how many people are at their dealer like how many reservations they have but i doubt they'll tell you where you will land in line because uh, i mean unless they're a really cool dealer and have a lot of free time i doubt they would go through the dates of all their customers to tell you where you stand but maybe they will um so you you have the freedom right now to kind of move around so if the, the people who I recommend should move is if you're at like the very end of the line at a really popular dealership, it might be worth calling around to see, hey, maybe someone, I saw a video from, I believe, OSR Garage, what is up? Uh, he said his dealership just became EV certified as he switched to it, so therefore uh, became first in line out of nowhere, which is pretty cool. So uh, maybe you could do something like that if you you got to do the research though that and it's a little risky because you can't guarantee things that way so i don't really recommend it if you're at a you know if you're within like 20 at your current dealership i think you'll be okay for 2023 so kind of use your judgment there but you know i'm just gonna leave that as is anyway back to moving orders so here's kind of what i recommend is the biggest thing is locking in that msrp right right now like I've heard a couple nightmare scenarios. So on Inside EVs, Tom Malogny had a story of a guy who, uh, this is devastating, was one of the first to orders, ordered at his dealership. The dealership canceled his order and took his reservation. They they never put it in his name, and the guy is just out of lightning. There's nothing he can do. They didn't even try to like scare him out by saying it's 20k over MSRP or anything. And because he already made his order, he's just screwed. And Ford's, I guess, not really doing anything about it, which just I hate hearing that. So there's crazy things like that happening right now, and it's just it's wild. <laughs> so, but the thing is. You once you make that order, it's done. You are stuck at that dealership. So if they do anything, like if you don't sign anything, you're still subject to um, a price increase when it gets in. Um, I mean, hopefully they won't change the name like they did with that other gentleman. In fact, Ford has made a rule that the it need all the lightnings need to actually be uh, in a customer's name. Uh, 
or Ford will actually take allotments away from some dealerships. So hopefully that's mostly solved for. But the upcharges and the crazy markups could still happen if you don't have any everything locked in at the order. Now, the good news here, though, is if you get your order and your dealer is trying to do anything shady or won't lock that price in, you can move dealerships once you've gotten that order with no penalty. It doesn't matter where you are in that line. Your allotment will move from one dealer to another dealer. So you have all the power once you have your order. You can call around to someone, say, hey, will you do MSRP? I want to move my order to you. Make sure you get someone to agree to it and call around until someone does agree. So um, there's a chance that I I have this a little confused, but I'm like 99% sure this is where you have the power. There's a number on the screen right now. This is the number you need to call to change your order once you have you or change your dealership once you have an order. Um, Again, orders won't start until this summer. But you'll be able to do that if that's the case. So if you can't get your dealer to lock, just to summarize that one more time, if you can't get your dealer to lock in a uh, MSRP price, tell them that you can move your order. They might not even know you can do that because obviously some of these dealers just don't read up on this stuff. So, but you can, I'm, uh, Tim Bartz. In fact, if you're familiar with his channel, uh, talked about that on the podcast here, all charged up that you can do that and gave us the number and everything. So that is possible. So that was a lot of information and there's so many unique Uh, scenarios that someone might be in that I apologize if I wasn't able to cover your exact scenario. And, you know, I love kind of hearing people's situations. So if you comment and let me know, not only myself, but I'm sure some of the other other regular viewers of the channel will, will help you out because that's what these videos are here for. We're just here to help each other because... I mean, the main thing is this is not only new to all of us, it's new to Ford. And that's the one thing we've learned throughout this process is that there's like, uh, there's no precedent for this. There's, we can look to the Bronco, but that was done differently. We can look to the Mach-E, but that was done differently. Like this is a once in a forever kind of initiation of sorts. So, uh, you know, we're all in this together. And, you know, another reason why I made this video is, We've had this information and it's changed. Ford switched some things and they're bound to switch it again. So if you're watching this in the future, um, you know, double check my latest videos because some of this might have changed. But as of now, most of this should be up to date. And I do apologize if any of the things that I said uh, have changed since then. But that is how I understand everything. So with that, I hope I was able to help today. If so, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. We cover everything lightning. Uh, We cover other EV reviews and so much more e-bikes. If you're into that, big e-bike channel too. So I don't know. I hope you guys uh, stay around and enjoy the video. So thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye, guys. Bye.